Hello guys, so today I will teach you how to make liveries for your mesh plane. Uh, I've got, I, I haven't made my plane completely yet, but um, I just have the fuselage. So I think last time we left off on the wing, wings and flaps. I think you guys might have made them. So let's start the liveries. Uh, just before that, um, thank you so much for... Uh, for 50 members uh, that's really cool and the reason I'm doing liveries first is because I did a poll and you guys liked wanted me to do liveries so <laughs> yeah so I just decided to do the liveries one so this actually works for both CSG and mesh you just have to export the fuselage the doors the cargo doors anything and the tail uh, which I have not made so I will actually tell you guys how to do that very quickly so basically go here in front in numpad 3 UV I think and go in UV editing and here you're going to be greeted by this two screens and what you have to do is you have to select your fuselage your doors your windows basically anything that has been exported by uh, that has been separated by you on the f in the fuselage so anything because and the tail the tail the rudder tail rudder tail everything okay so once you have done that um, click tab and you're going to be in edit mode but now here if you click a and UV and project from view you would get this so for you guys you might have like something like this on your plane or I don't know something like this so this is not very helpful because it does not help us at all so what you guys need is to project from view and you should be and you should have this so if you're only like making I don't know um, a picture or a like a drawing or a sketch on your plane you just need one of the UV maps but if you're gonna write text then you need both of them so just scale this up a bit and put it in the bottom and this is for one side so for the other side uh, go uh, so just um, turn on x-ray mode and go into front view and here oh please ignore that that is a very loud bus and here um, drag this and just actually click B so and then just you know get the half of this done so you should have half of this here and once you've done that click on go here again on the other view so opposite of this and click UV and then project from view so that should disappear and you should get this so basically just scale this up get this here and yeah and now that you've got both of them uh, click on A so you have both of these guys here and now you're ready to UV export this and once you do that um, you can uh, you could basically basically go to Photoshop or in my case I'm not going to be using Photoshop I am going to be using Pixlr which is another amazing amazing uh, free <laughs> Photoshop okay so yeah just open and I will meet you there okay so I have my UV map in Pixlr um, I will quickly just right click here and unlocked so I can move this around uh, just keep it here though in the center and now it's actually your choice what type of livery you want to do so I think I love Java did knock air livery which was I think it is a bit complicated but you could do it um, maybe trans So, hmm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do something like, I don't know, like livery transparent. So yeah, like American or, 
I don't know. You could choose anything you like. Uh, I might as well just make American, to be fair, or whatever this is. So, I mean, you could just copy and paste this, like, copy image, and this, paste this in Pixlr. And actually, before that, what you want to do is you want to add a layer, an empty layer, and then add another layer, an empty one, and then control V and paste this. Uh, actually, I might not do American. I'll just, I'll make anything random, but it's up to your imagination, whatever you like to do. So, what I will do is I'll just, I don't know, I'll add a text, I guess. Or maybe I might just add, like, yeah, I might add a drawing. Maybe... I don't know. I love uh, so like this black. Uh, it's your choice. You could make it anything you like. Um, that not all of this has to be black. Mm, like this. Close this add in like this to um and then I don't know I might just add text here yep add and I don't know um color is going to be white why not and the text is going to be I can make it I don't know, Georgia this is purely your choice um, okay let's just go with this one it's it's not a very good livery but this is just for you guys and just duplicate this layer again and add it here like this and then check your layer so this layer we have the painting this layer these two layers is where our text is and this layer is empty so in this layer what you're going to do is you're going to take this bucket or and then go all the way white or whatever you want your color to be so i'm just going to make it white and add it here so actually yeah just add it here and for these texts um what i might actually quickly do is uh, ooh, this is gonna be annoying. Okay, I'll, I'll change the color from white. To be honest, I'll just change the. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so I'll change the color to I don't know. Make it bluish. This color, I guess. Actually, it doesn't matter. Duplicate layer, same thing here. Then layer 2 and bucket. And this has to be, I don't know, pure white, I guess. Or, no, I'll make my airline, my plane about bluish or something. Uh, there you go. So you've got this. Um, and now what you want to do is uh, just file and save. So I will just save my image here and yeah. Okay, so once you have downloaded your image, um, so you should be back on this screen or if you have something like this, just click A and you're gonna get your things back. So now what you wanna do is you wanna go here, uh, this little guy and click shader and then go to here in materials and go out of edit mode with everything selected uh, whatever you had selected for your um, fuselage and click new and you should have nodes here this is a bit uh, I used to hate this but I mean it's not as bad as it was for me at the start so just click texture image texture and you should have this so now click open and select your livery file so I'll just do that very quickly because uh, and I'm going to make a cut here because I don't want to show my files. Okay, so I have added my um, fuselage livery here. And I will drag color to base color here like this. And this to surface. 
and my blender just crashed which is not a good thing what happened that should never ever happen why did that happen oh no i don't think we saved it uh oh okay so no, hold on i might as well just quickly redo this It's gonna, this is gonna be annoying, but don't worry, I've got this. UV project from view. Let me scale this up like that. Um, run slap. UV project from view again. Scale this up. Bring this like here in A. Okay, this should be this shouldn't be very hard than shader. I don't know why Blender just crashed. Uh, this is very annoying. This sometimes ruins a few things. It's a new um, uh, shader. Add texture image. I'm just gonna do a cut there because I don't want you to see my file. Okay, so connect this as usual, and then you here, and then uh, go out of edit mode, go to um, UV editing again, sorry, not this UV editor, yes, uh, oh, hold on, and you should have this, so now uh, you should have your UV map as well, so now just pretty much um, kind of like take your UV maps and position it like this onto your plane. So one fresh air lines, one fresh air lines. And once you've done that, uh, go to layout and click on rendered. So here you should hopefully see your liveries, which I am not seeing them. Uh oh, what did I do wrong? <laughs> okay, so you can see them here. Have I added a material? Oh, okay. So what I've done wrong here is, uh oh, go back to UV editing. The material was meant to be for pretty much all of this. So again, I need to add a new material. Uh, material zero point two shader editor. Add a image texture. Gonna open this very quickly so you guys don't really see my files. <laughs> Color. I don't know why this happened. I think I wrongly selected my. Okay, good. Five. Then layout. There we go. Beautiful. Um. Yes, I know this looks very bad. <laughs> But to be honest, this is how my livery looks like. Um, yes, it's not the best, but to be fair, um, yeah, to yeah, this is not a very good livery, and I did make a oopsie before. That was because of just don't know why that happened, but. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, yeah, so see you.